All right, so for the next thing that we're gonna do, we're going to do the Google Business Profile Audit. And basically, Google Business Profile is the same as Google Maps. They just have their own name for it called Google Business Profile. And there's probably a bunch of citations on it. Well, if, if you're doing SEO well, yes, you have a lot of citations on your Google Business Profile. But either way, the way you can access a Google Business Profile is you can click up here, click on Business Profile, and it'll show you all your business profiles. But the thing is, is we don't actually have access to their Google Business Profile because we've never actually talked to this business. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to do an audit of their Google Business Profile or their Google Maps listing, whatever you wanna call it, uh, just from the outside. And so it's a little bit harder to do it from the outside because when you have access to the profile, you can see um, their analytics. So you can see how many people are viewing it. You can see how many people are calling them through it. And so it's easier when you have access to it, but you can still audit it without having access. See, another thing I think you might should <laughs> have to add to Shine Ranker to make it easier. Okay, so if we type in their business name, here's what shows up. It's got their name, it's got their amount, of their reviews, it has their location, it has their hours. Now what we wanna do is we wanna actually click into this. We're gonna just click on the see photos here. And here's all their different photos. You can see this photo is actually from 2018. Ooh. So first thing that they probably wanna do is update their photos because they're kind of old. Let's go right. see here. Now here's a really good sign though. Uh, you really do wanna have a bunch of pictures of your office and where you're located. Because think about this, if, if we were going to want to go visit these doctors, wouldn't we want to know what the business looked like and you know where we'd be waiting yeah. and you know who we'd be talking to? So these are all great to have, and you'll see a lot of businesses don't have these things. I just saw a bunch of needles. In <laughs> needles. That ugh, that's actually that's actually called acupuncture. If you don't know, oh. they put needles all in your body. I'm never going to do that. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, <clears throat> but biggest thing we can see here is that the photos are outdated. So they probably benefit by updating these photos. Um, but overall, everything looks good. The only thing that they're probably missing is they have the inside location pictures, but they don't really have the outside. So it would be it would be better to actually have pictures of the outside. Let me show you with our web design site. Let's go type in web design Santa Barbara. What you'll see here is you'll see pictures not just of the inside of the location, but the outside. And actually, we don't have pictures. You know what? I'm I'm wrong about this. Uh, we should have outside pictures, but it looks like we only have inside. But you can see here, um, it, it, it's good to have outside pictures because then you can see where you're driving, what the outside of the location looks like. Wait, you have your own little, like... Well, well, this is just Google Maps. But either way, that's the first thing. Um, let's go to the next. Let's click on their reviews. Now, one of the biggest ranking factors for maps in terms of ranking higher on Google Maps is having a bunch of reviews, but also responding to them. So if you don't respond to your reviews, apparently Google doesn't really give you the full benefit of having the review. Yep. So you can see they have a review here from four months ago and they are responding to the reviews, which is great. And it seems like they're active. It, uh, oh, it looks like they have a few. There's one right there that they didn't respond to. There's there one there they didn't respond to. That I don't think they might have responded to. Ooh, look at that. That's the cupping I was telling you about, Caleb. Oh. Ooh. I'd rather just do, I'd rather just give myself hickeys. <laughs> so we got all that. We got where they're located. They got the address. They got their hours of operation. One thing you want to be careful of, some people will say they're open up 24-7 even though they're not. And you really want to have natural business hours. You don't want to just say you're open up 24-7 because you want to have more leads. Yeah, Google's just... going to think that you look sketchy. And sometimes, um, especially if you have your address listed, uh, people will just show up at your address like 3 a.m. and that would not be good because then they're going to start complaining. Google's going to know that you're not real and then it's just all bad. They have the health and safety. They have the phone number. They have the appointments URL. They got some products and looks like they got some reviews from Facebook and some other places. So overall, their listing looks pretty good. And um, the only thing that I would say that they'd want to improve is really just getting some more photos on there of the location. Just more recent ones. Get them more recent. And then also, um, obviously, uh, uh, what, was, what was the last thing? Can't remember what the last one was. What was that last one? 
just like it's the images. It was the it was one more, and I can't. It's like on the top of my head. Well, whatever it was, um, it's not that important, I suppose. Or well, it's super important, you forgot. I can't remember what it was. Was it that people have to get... Oh, they got the, the description here, too, which is good. Um, oh, responding to the reviews. That's what it was. So last thing is just making sure all the reviews are responded to and making sure that there's continuing to generate reviews. So that's one of the really biggest things is that if you're um, in business and you're getting clients, try to come up with some sort of incentive for people to review you um, because the more reviews you can get, as you can see, they're ranking number one, the more they're going to stay on top. You can see the third result has 100 reviews, second result has 200 reviews, third, uh, first result has 400 reviews. So really, um, besides the images, the citations, and just having a good website, one of the biggest things that you can do is just keep building those reviews.